Alright, what's going on guys? It's Flame, and welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. So yesterday we checked out Season 4 and all the new content, the new Battle Pass, guns, and maps. And uh, I actually have the Fennec, or the Vector, over here. And uh, I've had time to level it up, get used to it, you know, check out all the attachments and figure out what I like and what I don't like. So uh, this is the class setup that I will be running in this video. I really like it. So basically, if you didn't already know, the Vector has the fastest fire rate in the entire game. And it is considerably higher than any other gun. And uh, you'd think that would cause it to have higher recoil, but it's actually not that bad. But the two downfalls of it are that, one, its range is absolute dog shit. And two, it's only got 25 uh, bullets in a magazine. So basically, I'm running the ZLR 18-inch ZLR deadfall barrel because A, it gives it a lot more damage range, which really helps with it because that's one category that it's lacking in. It gives it recoil control and bullet velocity, which also helps. And suppression is just a nice bonus. Can't see you on the minimap. Um, so I run the Forge Tax EQS to lower the ADS speed. You could also run no stock so that it just kind of you know makes it like not too slow from this because this will slow it down a lot and then that'll kind of counteract that ranger foregrip to make the recoil even less noticeable so that you can basically just laser people then the 40 round mag so that it, you know you have way more bullets than 25 because with the fastest fire rate you melt through those 25 bullets so it really helps and then just stippled grip tape to make it ADS faster so you can customize this however you want. There's tons of different ways to uh, make this gun good, but I definitely think you should definitely run a longer barrel of some kind. And the uh, drum mag is uh, definitely necessary, definitely necessary, because you don't want to have 25 bullets where you're reloading every second. But yeah, I'm just going to hop into a game and uh, we'll check out this gun in detail. So, to be honest with you guys, at first, I really liked Scrapyard, but, I don't know, it's kind of falling off for me, because recently, there have been a lot of people just sitting around camping. It suffers from the same problems that the rest of the maps in Modern Warfare suffer from. It just, people play it too scared. That's not good. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. Flashes last so long if you don't have, uh, what you call Like, see, and also another thing, the spawns make absolutely no sense. I spawn on the other side of the smoke, which is basically a permanent smoke on this map. Cross it and immediately get sniped. Like, that doesn't make any sense. And I don't know how I got away with that kill. But yeah, uh, this gun pretty good it's i would mostly use it as a secondary for like really close engagements like if you're a sniper you can just kind of run it as a backup to switch to in case you get in too close of an engagement where you can't snipe but it's definitely an interesting gun we knew it was actually in the files since uh season before season one so you know we've been knowing that this gun would be a thing for a very long time a lot of people thought it would actually have been, like, scrapped at this point because, you know, we went three seasons without even seeing it. So much as a change to it in the files or whatever. And, uh, the Galil was leaked for season four as well. But you can see right there, it just beams from that range. It all kind of just depends on the lobby. Sometimes Scrapyard plays well, sometimes it doesn't. I don't really like know what else to say other than that but we'll we'll be with you know we'll have it as a playlist for a need, at least another week maybe longer I don't know where that guy came from but yeah I'm almost at the Galil so you guys will definitely see a video within the next few days about the Galil and uh, the best setup I think you should use for it and um just gonna be grinding out season four, you know how it is. EOD. Ah! Yeah, I just missed those shots. It's still got a decent amount of recoil, but uh, it's definitely significantly better with this than normal. 
like see I can do pretty good from there it's actually a four shot kill kill and then past that it's just like seven shots past like 25 meters so definitely a uh, unique gun in some ways it's also got those hollow point rounds um, which make it a two shot burst rifle same as the UMP I don't really know where anyone is right now You, like, what are you doing? That's the thing, man. See, that's what I mean about people playing it so scared. Like, I guess I get it if you're going for challenges or something, but it's just... It's so just not fun. When you're doing that, like... But anyways, we'll just live with it. It is what it is. That guy's sitting in a window. Also, those uh, weapon mastery challenges came out for the calling cards and emblems and stuff. So I'll probably go for that on some of the snipers. You guys will see a video on that at some point or something. Lots of new content in Season 4. There's actually a uh, secret sniper rifle that you can get. Like, secret AX-50 variant that you can get in um, Warzone by like some specific contract. So I'll probably get that for a video. And, uh, you know, show you guys how to do that. Like, see, I just died here and, and spawned here. I mean, yeah, it's just the game, but, like, I don't know. The map just feels like it's part of it, too. I don't know why I stood there. But, yeah, everyone's using this gun right now. Like, literally everyone. And I don't know how he didn't die there. It still doesn't compete with the MP5, and I don't know about the MP7. Teammate scared the shit out of me. I don't know where anyone is. This is freaking me out. There's definitely a guy sitting in the back here. Oh, okay. Well, the game's over. I joined late, so. Yep. So another thing, actually, they added demolition to the uh, regular rotation of these 24-7 playlists. You can see it right here, which is uh, interesting. I, I don't really have a problem with it, to be honest. Just a little bit more variety. And another thing is that... Okay, that's guy that guy's got the sticks. Ooh, three-piece for the boys. So finally, in the roadmap... We have a uh, new leaked sniper. It's called like the, uh, I don't even remember what it's called, like Wrighton AMR or something, but basically people are saying it's the Barrett 50 cal. And we did have one in the files that was a Barrett 50 cal, but the catch was that it was basically a scoped noob tube. Uh, you're a douche, oh my god. What the fuck are you doing? So, in the files, there's basically a scoped noob tube. Alright, I killed the guy behind the ride shielder. Good riddance. Get him. So, I hope that it's, um... If it's the scoped noob tube thing, I hope that there's either... Either it's a regular sniper and there's a conversion kit to make it the grenade launcher, or at least vice versa. Because it's been eight months into this game's life cycle, and we don't have a single sniper. We've gotten one marksman rifle, or two, sorry, two marksman rifle, basically a copy paste of the EBR, and in the form of the SKS, and a crossbow, which is not practical at all. And, um, ah, it's just annoying. Stop drop shotting, you little fuck. I'm behind the bush. Can't see me. They've got to be in here, right? Oh boy, are they in there? Jesus Christ! So you know, if it's a normal sniper, you best believe that I'm gonna be making a video on that, and I'm probably instantly gonna go for Damascus on it because, yeah, it's about time that we got a sniper. We really deserve it. So 
that's about it in terms of just talking about the stuff in the update, I guess. Probably one of the bigger seasons that we've had, but... No new sniper. Which is all I really care about. So... I guess we'll just wait. And, um, actually, the PS5, if you don't know, the PS5 live stream was yesterday. And, um... A lot of people theorized that the new COD 2020 was going to be revealed in some fashion during that live stream. Because, if you didn't know, Activision has, like, a partnership with, uh, PS PS5, well, I should say Sony, where... You know the PS uh, the PS consoles get like exclusive deals for Call of Duty, so like they get things early and stuff like with MW2 Campaign Remastered, month early. PS4 had it. Get off me. And um, yeah, so I watched that live and uh, nope, no COD reveal. There was the uh, Treyarch and Infinity Ward um, studio leads that appeared for a sh brief second at near the end of the uh, live stream, and they just said they were excited for the PS5, like a lot of people. It looks like a freaking spaceship. It's way better than the Xbox, in my opinion. I'd rather have a spaceship console than a uh, mini fridge, but... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no COD 2020 reveal for us yet. And, and also, hopefully, the actual full game is not delayed because of all the stuff going on in the world with, you know, the virus and then these protests. If it is, it is completely understandable. It makes total sense. Um, but, yeah. That's 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 about it on that topic. I'm actually doing good this game. It's pretty crazy. I've been doing shit the last couple of games. There's another guy in that window. Oh well, we're dropping good game here. But yeah, I think I'm going to go for the sticks next. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a, uh, you know, melee weapon variant. Well, it's not a variant. It's actually completely separate in the category there. But uh, it, it works differently. So it's like, it's like a melee weapon, but you, you know, hit faster. And um, you hit faster and... It's a two shot. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. But yeah, see, people like this is just what makes Scrapyard play so slow, and the weird ass spawns where it just can't decide what, like, one side and the other is. It just kind of puts you randomly in the middle of the map and shit. But uh, yeah. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something from this class setup. You know, you can go give it a try and see if you like it. I believe it is the best, you know, version of this gun that you can make. And, uh, yeah, if you're new here, please subscribe. I'm going to be uploading tons of banger Modern Warfare videos, grinding out Season 4, over the next couple of weeks. And, um, like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to follow my socials, Instagram, at FlameOnYT, Twitter, at Flame. Can't believe I didn't see that guy. And, uh, yeah, it's been Flame, guys. See you in the next video. Peace.